Hey guys, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest XI. We are back in Heliodor, which uh, is probably not too healthy for us, but we are in disguise. So hopefully we won't get captured again and arrested and all that jazz. Uh, we need to find Dirk. Ooh, Seed of Strength, that's nice. I might give that to... Uh, should I give that to Mage? Hmm. Still need to use the Seed of Agility as well, but I, I'm just going to give the Seed of Strength to uh, to us, I think. Increase by two, nice. Okay. Yes, I, I mean, nice. <laughs> just so nice, right. Um, so we can explore the rest of the town. I, I sort of... I sort of explored it last time I was here, but not that thoroughly. And there is still a quest we can do here, I think. Finding a book uh, for the dude near the castle. So yeah, we'll do that if we can. Oh, in fact, we can go in there. Oh. Ah, well, yeah, there's some bookshelves. The Soldier and the Strategist, A Tale of Two Heroes. Oh, this might be the book! Wow! I think this is the book we were after. No matter how ferocious... Fero I can't read. Ferocious an assault the monsters may launch against Heliodor, this great kingdom shall not fall, for two heroic figures will stand in the path of any attacker. They weren't so heroic to me. One of them's probably murdering my entire home village, and the other one threw me in jail. Countless times he has ridden his colossal black steed, Obsidian, that is a freaking cool name for a black horse, uh, into the heart of an oncoming assault, scattering the enemy like so many leaves. He is chivalrous to a fault, and considered by many to be the greatest swordsman in the world. Uh, even the vilest, most towering troll dare not stand its ground when faced with his whirling greatsword. We'll see about that. And uh, a shrewd and in ingenious Sir Jasper. Is it Jasper that was sent off to do the dirty? I think he was sent to investigate Cobblestone. Um, though, uh, as a swordsman, he may be no match for Sir Hendrick. His ability to analyse any battlefield and quickly arrive at the ideal strategy for the situation is... Uh, at hand is unrivaled. Hmm. I think they're an absolute bunch of cock muppets. I don't like them one bit. Pumpkins! Pots! Another flintstone. I've got a few of them now as well. Let's check upstairs. Oh, they're sleeping. Don't mind me, mate. Just having a smashing time. Can I talk to him while he's asleep? No. Fair enough. Damn, that, that dude is hefty. And he sleeps with his mask on. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and another one. This darkspawn bloke is bad news. They say he's got, gonna trigger a calamity that'll end it all life as we know it. Don't sound too good, does it? Mind you, everybody is. He, he can't be as frightening as my mother-in-law. <laughs> Jokes. Another bookcase. There's a magazine entitled Down and Out in Downtown Heliodor. Uh, last month's issue, we shed some light on the lesser-known highlights of Heliodor's historic city centre. This month, we'd uh, like to take a moment to talk about the city's diverse downtown district. Uh, the land is... Uh, at this quarter, occupies once served as a defensive trench. With the town's population growing by the day, new arrivals had no choice but to make their homes in this ditch. Soon, the bustling shanty town had attracted a whole host of colourful... Colourful characters, that's, that's one way of putting it. Uh, struggle with this crime is no secret, but for some thrill seekers, it offers an excitement found nowhere else. Walk on the wild side, yeah. Okay, nothing else in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Nearly missed you. We've got so many medicinal herbs now. 
Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go find that dude that wanted that info. Uh, he was... Up here. I think? It is really nice at night time. I do like this place. Oh, hey! Are you the kid that we found the cat for? I think it is. That is the dude. Oh, hello there. I can't... Uh, I can tell from the look in your eyes that you found that book. Go on, tell me what it said. Sir Hendrik is the mightiest swordsman, but Sir Jasper is a peerless military tactician. I'd heard as much. So glad you shared that with me. Now I feel a lot closer to my heroes. You might you might want to like reconsider who your heroes are, dude. They they ain't what you think they are. Um Yeah, here's a little something. Thanks. A Dracillian shilling, right, so we know we can We can sell those, can't we? Nice. Yeah, that is what we had before, isn't it? Oh wait, it's different. It's a shilling, so it's probably not worth as much, I'm guessing. Sold for a hundred. Okay. Still, I mean, it's it's money. It's free money. I'll take it. Right, so, we, uh, we need to head up to the top of town, but I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Because I probably have. Anything in this little garden. It's bound to be a chest or two. Oh, hello, some pots. 20 gold coins, nice. Nice well lit alley. More herbs, man. Holy crap. I actually think you can get over there, unless you have to go through the house. Can you actually go through the house? I don't think you can. Right, we spoke to this woman, didn't we? Or did we? Oh, I'm sure they're not too bad. They'll never catch me again. My husband's so clever. <laughs> Listen to the latest clever thing my darling husband said. Just because something might seem useless, that doesn't mean it is. Keep hold of everything you find, just in case. Except for those old Dracillian coins, of course. The only thing they're good for is selling. Right, well, you know what? We're going to go do that. We are going to go do that before, uh, before we progress the plot. But yeah, very good advice, that. Because, yeah, you never know. With when, whenever the crafting thing is going to be unlocked, which it is at some point, I uh, want to make sure I have some materials to use. So really? Oh, can I jump over this fence? No. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem to be that much then around, apart from that ladder that we climbed last time. That's the weapon shop that we've been inside. I explored the inn and the pub, didn't I? Anyway, let's quickly go sell that stuff. Wait a minute, did I go in this house? I'm not sure I explored this side. This tune's a banger! Some banging tunes, yes! Check it out. Yeah, I don't know if I went in this house. Nothing. Sorry, did I interrupt your supper? Oh, wait, this is the... No, we did rob this dude, didn't we? We smashed this pot in front of him and he was like, Oi! <laughs> yeah, what's all this in? Right. We won't build. Maybe, maybe items respawn, I don't know. Did we go in here before? Being kept in the deepest dungeon in the castle before they broke out. If they were locked up down here, it must mean they were the worst of the worst. Down there, sorry. Bruh, I just hope that I don't run into them. 
Yeah, me too. They sound really dangerous, but really awesome at the same time. Like the most awesome people you could possibly imagine. Yeah, I think I've... I think I've explored this house, actually. Whatever. What about over here? Nope. A little bit of money. Right. Let's go sell some shit. Good job they are open all hours. Mm, no, I don't need to buy anything, do I? Sell. Item bag. And the guinea. That boosted our funds quite significantly. Sell the horse manure for one gold. Uh, the red eye. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep everything else. Even weapons that we're not using anymore, we're gonna keep. Right, let's head up to the castle area. Probably won't risk going inside though. Oh. Oh, how do we do that then? I just walked up there last time without a problem. I guess they would maybe recognize us if they look too closely, so. Okay, how do we find a way up there then? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything this way. Shit, there was the ropes, wasn't there? Ah, yes. Yes, the ropes on the rooftops. Right. How do we get... Yeah, this dude's probably going to say something about that, isn't he? Right, yeah, here we go. Here we go, I remember now. Maybe this is why it's night time. Because we're supposed to be like all sneaky and stuff. I mean, as, as much as the king and his cronies are assholes, this place still is really pretty. I wouldn't mind living here. Here we go. You really would think they would have a guard uh, stationed up here, but I guess not. Easy as that. Alright, what's around here? Is that a chest? It is a chest. No, oh, can I not jump over? Are you serious? God damn it! Another ghost penguin! Oh, a seed of sorcery. Right, well, I'll save that for more of a magic user. I know I know, I do use magic, but I'm sure we're going to come across more party members that might benefit from that more. And we don't need to use it straight away anyway. It's fine. Right, let's uh, really just have a good old mooch around this place. Yeah, I think I... Didn't I go in that house? Or I tried to go in that house and then I went in this one? I wonder if this is actually Dirk's shop. Now that I think about it, maybe. Don't mind me, just a filthy peasant. Just checking out your, uh, your pad. Fancy cabinets. Ooh. More plain clothes. We've got a few of them now. Hello. Aren't you pretty? What is all this kerfuffle? Whatever in the world is going on? Sorry. Just wanted to see what shit you've got in your house. Hello, little boy. Sleepy. I'm always sleepy, mate. I know the feeling. Five 
gold coins. I just can't get over how big that castle is, man. The doggo. Oh, I can't go in that one. Okay. Right, yeah, let's check out this, uh... This house again, because I... I have a sneaking suspicion that this could be where we need to go. you got here. Oh, oh, he's not going to enjoy this surprise. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. <gasps> <gasps> That's good. Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Uh, Eric! Long time no see, old pal. Ooh, we dodged that well. My, my brother, my compadre, my, my partner in crime. It's, oh, it's really you, large as life and oh, fighting fit. I'm so oh, happy to see you. You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! Ugh. You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Really? Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? It's a very good question. Look, I was never much of a thief, you know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> when you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. Couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. And the king didn't just flat out arrest you? That seems like something he would do. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? Hmm, or were they just incompetent? I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. Hmm, I'm not going to trust this guy so quickly. That's a spirit! There we go, pal. It's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> well, it, you said you brought it to the king. Okay. I mean, it, I've got to give it to him, though. This is a pretty nice setup. A lot of very fragile-looking things in here, though. Good job we aren't uh, someone called Link. Hello. Charmed, I'm sure. You must be Eric. One is lucky enough to be uh, married to the Magnificent... Oh, this is his wife? Damn, he's doing well for himself. One understands you are quite the most light-fingered gentleman in all the realm. Fascinating. It's an honor to meet such a rogue. Well, hi. Hi. 
Nice to meet you. You're totally not just in it for the money. I, I to totally not a gold digger or anything. No, no, no. Uh, right, what's up here then? Anything? Another mini medal! Yes! It's probably going to be still a little while before we can hand any of those in to anyone, but... What's all this about? Very posh digs, very posh. Alright, where does he run off to? So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm hmm. That's southeast oh, wow. of town. Same direction as cobblestone. Ooh. I think this could be our next dungeon, chaps. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? I bet you he doesn't. Sorry, no can do. I got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. Mm. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. Yeah, thanks for letting me rot in jail for months. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Alright, we won't help our friends out then. <laughs> the south gate is crawling with guards. Ah. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. We can drop into cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Well, what's left of it? Ugh, I really have a bad feeling. Out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the mangle grove for nothing. Ah. There's plenty going there and never come out. Okay then, that's the next stop. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kid stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. Yeah, and we're like level 9, so it'll be a piece of piss. I've no idea if it will or not. It's probably going to be tough. But, um, but yeah, okay, Dirk is... Happily married and living the life. I still don't trust that guy. I mean, what he said does kind of makes a... It makes a little bit of sense. Where the fuck have the guards gone? Oh, well, that's convenient. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I I think he's freaking bluffing. I reckon the guards are just absolutely useless. Okay, um... Right, well, as far as I'm aware, I think we've done everything in here that we can. There's no more quests popping up, so I am just going to leave and head for this mangle grove. So we're going to be... Oh, hang on. We can't go that way. How the frick do we get out of them? Do we just go back the way we came? Yeah, I think we probably do. Lovely weather! <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's pretty nice. Um, did I even bother going in this church? Hang on, I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. I pray, uh, come out feeling like a new man. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I don't actually need to visit the church. I just thought I'd check it out. It's a very nice place, very nice. Okay. So we came out over here, didn't we? Uh, 
It's a dodgy tunnel. Wondering what to do next, eh? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we're, we're fine with it being night time. It's okay. Alright, we came out here, didn't we? Yes. So, we're robbing the jewel that we stole... Well, that Eric stole, and then his mate gave back. We're robbing it again. Okay. Well, anything to get back at that bastard king. He is a total douchebag. Like I say, we're going to be stopping in at Cobblestone anyway on the way, so we might as well go along for the ride. Eric seems like, seems like a decent chap. More people just sleeping in the street. That guy- oh my god, the dog is still- oh, that is amazing. <laughs> I like how no one's trying to help him either. They know he's a freaking corrupt bastard. And there's me again, just chilling. Oh, good stuff. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's that woman! Hello! Let me guess, you're from somewhere out in the sticks. Is he, uh... Oh, this is her- oh, this is Roxy! Yeah. Yeah, I, uh... I wonder what, if we can ever find that... That camo kid. Because was that suspicious-looking guy up on the... On the wall, wasn't there? Looking into the tunnel? I really wonder when that comes into play. I thought that might be how we got into, like, the upper part of town, but it didn't end up being, so I really don't know. I kind of want to go up there and see if anything's changed, but... Maybe we'll come back. Oh, okay. Learn a bit more backstory there. Oh, here we go. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. Yeah. How did they miss Look at us? All those lights? They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. Okay, so we can't go back. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Let's do it. Right, so, uh, yeah, I guess we're heading to the Mangle Grove. Um, just thinking, should I save at the church? Damn, I actually should have used an inn while I was in town. Because my MP is a little bit low, but, ah, uh, we'll, we'll be fine. Let's just, let's just head straight down there. It's not too far away. Get our first taste of the mangrove. Mangrove, the Mangle Grove. See if we can spot anything on the way. Oh, I already do. More little saber cat, saber cubs. Freaking adorable, man. Yeah, stealing rates are not great in this, but maybe, maybe, as he levels up and gains new skills, we'll get better. Using our new leather shield there, which is very cool. Aw, oh, he frolics freely! How the hell are you supposed to attack something like that, man? Not like that, I suppose, but still. Another one bites the dust. Oh, another herb. Holy shit. Right, I want to try this out. Can we control... No, it doesn't change. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, you could do, you could do that in Dragon Quest VIII, but I guess not in this one. Sleeping hibiscus. All 
Alright, here we go. Into the Mangle Grove. Ooh, very tropical. I bet this place looks really cool during the day. What nasties await us. more smog enemies. I think we do. Yes, we do. Some more like jungle Aztec ruin kind of things going on. Well, I, I want to fight that thing. I want to kick its ass. A wake robin. Now, I did find one of those off a random enemy. They wake up sleeping uh, characters, so we've got two of those now. Flame Slash. Can I steal anything from this dude? Oh, Holy Water, okay. Oh yeah, they hit hard. But not too tough. Ha! Ease. Ease. <laughs> Ease of what? Saber cubs. Oh, a slime! It's a it's a liquid slime. Bubble slime. Sorry. Two of them. Cool. Uh, it's a shame we didn't learn that ability with Eric. That ooze bruiser or whatever it was. Poisonous. That's not good. Let's kill it first before we cure ourselves, just in case they do it again. Thirty-four XP and a slime drop. Hmm. A uh, gooey gun, uh, gumdrop shaped like a lovely little slime. Very nice. Right. Antidotal herb. Use. There we go. I kind of want to find a campfire to save, but I should have saved at the church, shouldn't I? Totally should have done that. My breath. Ouch. Holy crap. Oh no. It's not good. Damn. I'm gonna save my MP. As best I can anyway. Or at least save it for like healing spells, but we've got so many herbs we shouldn't need to use heal. Who else wants some? That is good XP though. Oh, it's one of those caterpillar things. With the massive lips. Sweet. Oh, I can use evac. Okay, you know what guys? I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna evac out of this place. I'm gonna go back to the church, I'm gonna save the game. Oh wait. Oh, this isn't classified as a dungeon? Woodcutter's hut. Oh, there's a campfire very very close. Okay, we'll get to that first before we end the video then. Let's do it. 
kill one of these things. Ugh. Oh, so gross. So horrible. Well, if we can heal at the campsite, we should be able to just murder these things with uh, our abilities. Let's see what we can steal from lips. Yoink. Nothing. Stop poisoning me, you dicks! Have a Sizz spell. Actually, no, it's not really worth it. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself. Oh, he's giving me a good licking. No. No, thank you. How many antidotal herbs have we got left? Uh, not many. Or at least on, uh, on Eric. Hmm. I won't use that one, I'll just attack it. Oh, okay, yeah, we got two, okay. Okay. Good as new. Right, yeah, we're pretty close to that campfire, so uh, that'll be alright. And I'm sure some of you don't mind a slightly longer video if these have ended up being a bit longer than usual anyway. Right, avoid the slimes! I will come back and murder you later. get to this campfire. Holy shit. Ha! I don't want to go down there just yet. No thank you. And I will come back and check that place out because I'm sure I've missed some items. Is that a cow? It's a freaking cow over there. What if that's an enemy? Ooh, just imps and shit. Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. We will check this place out. I think I need to rest. Look at that. A campsite. And <laughs> just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. All right. Sounds like a plan. Oh, in fact, we don't have a choice. We have to. That's okay. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight. Married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We'd travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Please be crafting stuff. Yep. Yeah. I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Please be crafting stuff. Behold. It totally the is. The fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. Yes. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it. This thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You're damn right we will. I mean, I, I've no idea what recipes are needed, but hey, we finally got you it. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Yeah. How do, we, how do we find those? Probably in books and stuff? Talking to people? Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Ha! Uh. Ah! Forging ahead with a fun size forge. A beginner's guide. Major learns how to make bronze swords. Divine daggers. There are recipes Ooh. hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. Woohoo! 
Excellent. Oh, so glad. Alright, so he's going to give us some stuff to do. Oh, nice. Right, let's do it then. Uh, you can use the fun size forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of the raw materials you collect on your adventures. New recipes can be found in treasure chests and in bookshelves. Okay. Alright, so let's forge. Oh, rework an item. So, I, I did get a comment saying that, like, the Dragon Quest VIII armor that we have, you can upgrade it so it doesn't become useless. So I'm guessing that's what rework an item is, maybe. Uh, which is awesome if that's the case. Well, let's forge uh, a bronze sword. Two copper ore and a flint stone. Right. Yes. So, how does this work exactly? Oh. Oh, there's like a... What is a mini game? Smithing items couldn't be simpler. Select bash to start beating your ingredients into shape. And finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away at each individual area with your porter pounder to fill up the blue gauge next to it and aim to get every gauge into the green zone. Oh god. Okay. Uh... Bash, I guess. Okay, that's one done. Oh, that was simple. Uh, I, I think if we did any more, we would go over that, so finish. Yes. Hooray! Oh, a bronze sword plus one. So I'm guessing there's ways of getting even better stuff if you do really well at that minigame. Ooh. We've got two perfectionist's pearls. What the hell are those? You receive pearls each time you successfully forge a piece of equipment. You can use these to attempt to rework the item with the aim of doing an even better job. Ah! Don't worry about ruining your hard work. Even if you fail to rework something, you won't lose it. Oh, that's cool. Hmm, I wonder. Shall we try... We'll try making the Divine Dagger. We'll do that. I'm gonna need a few bashes on this one. Sweet. Ah. ah, I see, so that's like super good, that top one, but I don't think we're going to get that bottom one any better without going over it, so let's, uh, what happens if you appraise? Alright. Probably turn out brilliantly. Okay then, let's finish. Perfection! Oh! Divine Dagger plus three! Wow. Well, Eric better appreciate this crap, because that's going to be a pretty freaking amazing weapon. Yeah, um, I'm not going to bother reworking any of that stuff just yet. We'll save that for another time. Did everything go according to plan? Yes, it did. Don't rest on your laurels just yet, though. There is a deep, deep art we're talking about here. Oh, by the way, you can bust out the fun size forge any time we set up camp. Cool. Right, let's uh, hit the sack. Oh, I'm so glad we got that now. All right. Nice morning. Oh, I got a trophy. Nice. Right, so before we uh, before we do save and call it a day, I'm going to equip that new stuff. Bronze sword plus one, five plus attack. That's excellent. And 
let's get rid of that bronze knife. So kind of, I kind of wasted buying these weapons because we haven't used them for that long, but it's fine. Divine Dagger plus three. Oh my god, yes. Uh, excels at exterminating undead foes. Awesome! Well guys, this was a very productive session. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we'll continue to explore the Mangle Grove. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully head to Cobblestone and pray to God that everything's okay there. Although I, I doubt it. So, I will see you next time, guys. Have a nice day now. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.